Friday, I'm out here in the garage this morning. Um, got a little work done on the 51 Henry J and uh, did a little mock up with it. So I thought I'd share what I've got done so far and what I found out. So yesterday, uh, the weather got up to about 45 degrees and humidity was about 54. The sun was set shining. So I thought I would get a little primer on the body and the hood. Now I didn't give it a full spray, just enough uh, to highlight the uh, areas that I still need to go back and sand, you know, the areas that I missed. But uh, this is what I've got so far. Um, if you remember from my last video, if you've been watching on my channel, uh, I was having an issue getting the uh, rear differential all lined up and getting everything glued in. So I think everything looks good. Everything looks squared up. I think it's looking pretty good. Everything fit together really nice. Um, I got the, the height, you know, this way on it. Uh, the rear end, the wheels are fitting in there really nice. I, I like the way those are fitting. Now these front wheels, I haven't got them glued together yet. They're just kind of pieced together and setting up there. You can see they're kind of falling apart. Uh, I just set them on there to do this mock-up for the video. Uh, and I've just got the radiator uh, just tack glued in so I can get the hood on there and, and swivel it to see how it operates. Now I don't know if this is going to fall apart or not, but I'll... <clears throat> you can see I've got a little bit of alignment to deal with. Now this is just the first fit, so nothing's been done yet. And, you know, for the first fit it, it swings up and down and does okay, so, you know... Like all these kits, they take a little bit of work, so that'll be my next thing. Is uh, I'll have to get that front end lined up, but I just wanted to uh, show everybody um, where I got on this. I think it's looking pretty good. I really haven't had any major issues yet. I mean, that, that rear end, getting that lined up was, was a little bit of a chore, but uh, I dealt with it. I got through it. It... Looks like it turned out okay, so I'm satisfied. This is this is looking looking pretty sharp for a gas I really, I'm really digging this one. Um, not sure. I haven't even done anything with the engine yet. Uh, I've got a couple extra engines that I may trial fit in there, and I have, I believe, a spare blown engine that came out of uh, one of the. Uh, uh, Ravel 29 Roadsters. I think that might look pretty cool in there. So I haven't got that far yet. So I'll be doing some trial fitting and checking, see how things look. But uh, just wanted to give a uh, a little bit of an update on uh, on the Henry J and what I've got done, what I've found out. Uh, I mean, I've heard so many issues with this kit. Uh, I really haven't found anything terribly bad yet. I still need to cut those bars out of there that are in between the A and B pillar there. But I'm going to leave them on as long as I can. Uh, everything looks okay. I, I have to, uh, I missed some spots when I, that's why I primed it. You can see that line across the back there. I had to sand that out of there. Everything else on the body looks good. The hood, uh, I think I've got some spots up front here that I have to hit, uh, re-sand, but uh, came out not too bad. It's looking okay. <laughs> yeah, looking all right so far. So I'm pleased. I, uh, I think it's coming out pretty good so far, uh, fingers crossed. I'm uh, almost halfway there. Uh, the painting is going to be the next big issue. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a finished coat of paint on this with the weather we're having. I don't know whether to trust uh, this kind of weather with a finished coat or not. I mean, the primer looked like it went down okay, but I don't know about a, a uh, finished coat. Uh, I just don't know. I might do some testing. If I get a day that uh, that may hit close to 50 degrees. I may give it a shot. Hell, I don't know. 
but uh, we'll just see, I guess. But uh, boy, I'd like, really like to get some paint on that body. And like I say, the paint that I've got, it's a Tamiya, I think it's called a Brilliant Orange. It's, it's almost the same color as that. My granddaughter picked it out for me when we were at the hobby shop. I actually picked up a different orange and she pulled me back over there and she said, Papa, she, that's the wrong color. This is the color you need. So I listened to her and uh, I think she was right. Okay, everybody. Uh, just want to give a little bit of update on on uh, on the mock-up I did, where I'm at, and the issues I found, and and what I'm working through. Okay, that's all.